A scare today at Cuba High School when a cell phone battery burst into flames. Reporter Alyssa Munoz is here to tell us who was hurt and how bad. Yeah, two teachers and seven students are recovering after the incident happened this morning. It was a typical day at Cuba High School when suddenly smoke started to fill the classroom. Superintendent says around 9 a.m. a student was fidgeting with their phone before class when suddenly the phone started to smoke. We had a student who um, accidentally started a fire. He was tapping, he was, um, we were wait waiting for announcements, he took a stapler and was just kind of tapping on it, you know, not thinking anything, and then all of a sudden it started to smoke. Smoke started to fill the room, so the teacher immediately moved the kids out. Here you can see what is left of that charred phone. One teacher needed to go to the hospital after helping remove the burning phone from the building. One of the other teachers went and got some things to move the, the phone to get it out of the building. And when he moved it out, he inhaled a lot of the, the smoke. They did transport him because of the smoke inhalation. Mm -hmm. um, his vitals were a little bit off, so just as a precautionary um, situation, they did take him in the ambulance just to get him mm -hmm. thoroughly checked. Bridge says medics check the teachers and students on scene, and they're doing fine. It's an unfortunate accident, but that's what it is. It's an accident, and our kids, I think, learned from it. And we've quarantined everybody that was in that area. All parents had been notified. Um, they had the choice to either come and bring them extra clothes mm -hmm. and leave them at school, or they had the option to check them out and take them, you know, um, to the clinic or at to their house. Health Services advises parents to watch out for headaches or breathing problems just in case. Reporting in studio, Alyssa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News. Sandoval County Fire Chief says there are no hazmat contamination or fire risks at the school. They will continue to air out the classroom possibly for the rest of the day.